In this video, we're going to cover authenticating with the MOB AccountRight Desktop API. If you look at the documentation for the AccountRight API on the MOB developer website, you'll see that there's two versions of the API, the desktop or the cloud. The desktop API can be running in two scenarios, either on the same machine as you're running FileMaker Pro or on a network server. There's a PC installer for the local machine and a server installer for the network server. So depending on how you deploy AccountRight, you'll need to use one of those two installers. The URL to the AccountRight API is also slightly different. For the local machine with the PC installer, it's simply uh, the local host address. For a network server, you simply replace local host with the IP address of the network server. Uh, the trailing slash is important as well, so make sure you include that. So let's jump into the FM Accounting Link FileMaker Solution file and we'll click the MYB Company tab to set up our preferences. For the API type, we're going to select Desktop. And for the uh, URL, we're going to either type or paste in the URL to our AccountRight API. To test this is working, we'll simply click the Authenticate button. And you'll see that's come back with a list of all the MYB AccountRight files available on that particular AccountRight server. The next step is to go to the Company Files tab and basically import that same list. So we'll click the Import All Company Files button and it's uh, imported that list and created some, a nice little FileMaker table for us. Now we need to specify out of all these available MYB files which one we're going to be using when we're making requests to the AccountRight API. So I'm going to select the Clearwater Standard AU file and now we can um, test it's working by going to the Accounts tab and we'll try and download something. So let's go to Tax Codes for example. We'll click the Import Tax Codes button now that we've um, selected an actual MYB company file to work with, we also need to authenticate against that. So we're entering the username and password for the actual MYB file, just like you would in the AccountRight application. So we'll just click OK. That's going to query the AccountRight API and return a list of um, tax codes. We could get the same uh, information for the chart of accounts or categories, um, or in fact any of these other tabs. Uh, it's important to note that the authentication requirements, when you click Authenticate, um, can be hard coded, so we don't need to actually display this uh, web viewer. Uh, this web viewer looks slightly different on Windows due to how the uh, web viewer renders the particular result that the API returns. Uh, but yeah, that can be uh, skipped entirely. You can simply authenticate and uh, confirm that it was successful. You don't need to display the results in the web viewer. And uh, once you've downloaded this list of uh, company files, you can also hard code that into a permanent preference. So users won't need to make a selection, you can hard code those choices for them. Thank you.